It all began when ancient elven smiths crafted 19 rings of power. Three were given to the elves, a noble race. Seven were given to the dwarves, mighty warriors. And nine were given to the race of men, who above all things craved power. In secret, the evil lord Sauron created one ring, one ring to rule them all, and used this power to try to rule all of Middle-earth. When all hope had seemed lost against his incredible power, a last alliance of elves and men stood against the slopes of Mount Doom to fight for the very freedom of Middle-earth. Hope in the battle had seemed lost, but then one man cut off the ring-bearing finger of Sauron, relinquishing him of his power. The ring's power had overcome the man's judgment, and he could not bring himself to destroy the ring due to his lust for power. The ring was lost over the years and ended up in a cave where a hobbit named Bilbo Baggins had stumbled upon it. Bilbo Baggins left this ring and all of his possessions to his heir, Frodo Baggins. Frodo, with the ring, was informed by Gandalf the Grey that it was the Great Ring of Power, and that it must be destroyed to stop the growing force in Mordor. Sam and Frodo set out on this quest to destroy the ring, but as Sam and Frodo began their quest, they were attacked by Nazgûls, ring wraiths, former possessors of the Rings of Power who had died, yet their ghostly spirits still lived.
they started their quest by heading toward the Misty Mountains. Once they started the trek through the Misty Mountains, they realized that the mountains were far too cold and the terrain was far too rough. They changed their course to go through the mines of Moria. When they started to go through the mines, they realized that the mines of Moria had been overrun by orcs. They had to fight their way out of the mines. And on their way out, Gandalf had to fight the Balrog in order to escape the caves.
The King of Rohan could not be reasoned with, however, for he was in a trance, induced by the evil wizard Saruman, who was totally in cahoots with the evil lord Sauron. And it is a total bummer that their names are so similar. Legolas and Aragorn returned to the King of Rohan with the assistance of Gandalf the White, who magically got the King of Rohan out of his trance. Instead of leading his people to stay and fight in Rohan, the King of Rohan decided to lead his people to the fortress of Helm's Deep, where they would face the large armies of Mordor. The remaining members of the Fellowship assisted the people of Rohan in going to Helm's Deep. On the road, they were ambushed by orcs. The remaining members of our company fought bravely. However, Aragorn was struck down and rolled off a cliff and was presumed dead. This was devastating to the remaining members of the Fellowship. Legolas and Gimli, when they arrived at the fortress of Helm's Deep, prepared with the armies of men who were soon aided by the armies of elves. They suited up for war against the incredible force of Mordor, which had been rumored to be over 10,000 strong. Then a horse in the distance came riding in. Alas, it was Aragorn, their long-lost brother. Legolas and Gimli were overjoyed to have Aragorn back. Although he was deeply wounded, he said he was still ready to join the fight and defend Helm's Deep. The fight seemed to be in the hands of the Urukai and the orcs from Isengard. But when all hope had seemed lost, Gandalf the White returned with the help of the rogue riders and destroyed the remaining force of orcs that laid outside of Helm Deep. Although victorious, in the Battle of Helm's Deep, the battle for all of Middle-earth had just begun. I don't trust him, Mr. Frodo. Sam, you have to give him a chance. Just give him a chance. Just look at him! He's so innocent. But why do you doubt him? I don't think he's good enough. Sometimes, Sam, I really doubt him. I made, but I'm bringing you along. Come on, Spiegel. It's just Come my on, ring. Man. Come on, Spiegel. I ate that elf food.
here, Sam. Why did we come with this? Well, Mr. Frodo, there's still some good left in this world that's worth fighting for. That's why we're here. I suppose that's a good reason. Give that guy an Oscar. Chillin' in my beamer, listening to ether, bumping through your speakers. No, I got the ethers. Rockin' don't stop, I keep the rockin' don't stop. I bang in the beach, you know I rock the hair. Listen in the 